Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing an unboxing and assembly of a new thing that I just got in. And for those of you who watch the channel know that I do a lot of uh, 3D printing. I use 3D printing to make spacers for resin casting, spacers for pen blanks. I also use it to organize my uh, desk over there with all of my parts in there and make part trays. Use it on this side here for the lathe for all of my uh, lathe accessories and stuff to organize the drawers so it's quite a useful tool for me well the one that I had I bought about uh, almost a year and a half two years ago now and it's been running since the day I bought it so it's it's getting pretty used and I decided that I needed to upgrade so I got a new Ender um, one here and matter of fact it's so new it's the Ender 3 Max Neo and the max is because it's a much larger base plate. I think the other one was eight inches. This one is 11 and a half or almost 12 inches uh, each way. So I can, I can put together much larger items on this one. So let's dig into the box and uh, see what's all in there and get this thing assembled. And from my understanding, it doesn't take much to get it all together. Let's check it out. Okay, so here is my new Ender 3, or my new Ender Max, I should say, uh, working away. And uh, you, it's quiet. That's the thing that surprised me the most about this. But not only is it bigger, it's quiet. So as you saw in that video, it's set up really, really fast, much faster than this first one. And um, honestly, I would have to say that if you were looking to buy one of these, I would buy this one before I'd buy this one, only because of the setup factor is so much easier. This has an automatic bed level on it. It has a lot of nice features. It has a better control panel. Um, it has the adjustments here for belt tensioning at the end. Uh, it has the, the major thing is it has a little unit up here that tells it when it's out of filament. And it stops everything and waits for you to fill it back up and then continues on. And it did a beautiful job. I think this, this one I made, and you, you can't even tell where the filament joined together, where it ran out and where, you know, I put it back in and started it up again. So it comes back and, and does a really good job of finishing up. Now, this one's wearing out. I kept getting a couple of uh, errors on it, you know, so I decided that, you know, it was time to get a newer one. Uh, also, this thing comes with a glass uh, top. 
I had to buy extra, I had to pay extra for the glass top on that, which really makes a difference on flatness of the piece. Uh, although glass tops are a little harder to pull stuff off, but it, it's worth it for how well they adhere to it and how flat they are. So this one's still working. I, I, you know, I had both of them running here a little, just yesterday I had both of them working. The big advantage of this one is I can make much bigger pieces. Uh, uh, this was the largest tray that I could uh, make. It was a three section tray. Um, it's making a four section tray right now and it looks like it probably could fit a five section tray on there going across. So um, before if I wanted anything larger than a three I would have to like split this and that works okay but then you have two loose pieces there that you either glue up or you just have hang loose in the drawer which is the way that I have them. Probably wondering you know, why, why a woodworker would want so many of these. Um, you know, it takes a while for them to work. So having two is, is kind of nice now. I didn't realize how nice it was till I have to. But um, I've been making all kinds of stuff for the shop. Uh, like I made these little outlets back here, these little splash, splat outlets there. Um, parts that I need, I can recreate them. I can make adapters for my vacuum setup. So, uh, you know, I don't need to go out and buy them. I can actually just create them right here. And especially with this much larger one, I can do the four inch holes, hoses and you know go up about this high with it it opens up a lot of avenues uh, i also made uh, a whole bunch of these I don't, I don't know if i showed this yet or not on the channel but i made um, a lot of customized racks to go inside my drawer to uh, hold all of my nova chucks my different nova size nova chucks and um, um, i'll you know if i haven't done something on the channel about it i, I will be doing something soon about it um, it also allowed me to create a piece like this and this is a piece that allows me to glue wood in to here and then take it and let me see if I have the piece here do this without falling over in front of all of you uh, so I can put it inside this baking pan and pour and I, I have a video on it right up here but this allowed me to incorporate resin into my wooden bowls across here and it makes a really nice set up to make it look like segmented resin pieces. And then of course uh, you've seen uh, a couple times I've done bits about uh, pen blanks, making pen blanks, customized pen blanks. And you know it's open to your imagination. Whatever design you want to put in here and pour the resin in, uh, you could create whatever design you want on the pins. So it's really nice and, and I'm looking to expand this a little bit larger and maybe use this for something else and I'll soon figure out maybe handles for rolling pin or something like that but um i think a 3d printer is worth it to get for your shop uh, once you get one you'd be surprised at how many other things you can make with it and uh you know you're going to find out that you it seems like it never goes off you're always wanting to uh, make something else on it you know and once one thing's done you put another thing on and uh, get it going all the time and these things are this one has been running uh, now for about a year and a half constantly and they're really durable and this is this is the lowest end one this this one I think now is like 250 in that price range I could be wrong but uh, on Amazon and this one is you know uh, over 400 like 425 but so much worth uh, worth it as compared to this one just the setup alone if you're a first timer uh, getting this and setting this up is a breeze and uh, this one was really a chore when I first got it. It took a lot of work to get it set up and get it working right. And uh, even, even now, every once in a while, I have to readjust it. And now I've done it so many times I can do it quickly. But uh, uh, this one, I can't say enough good things about it. So uh, it's the Ender Max Neo. And uh, I, think, I think it's a, a great uh, a good buy. It's a good value for the price. Uh, you'll be able to print all kinds of stuff. and. Uh, do all kinds of things. I'm probably going to make some type of uh, parts holder back here to go on this wall right here. But you can just make a lot of different things for the shop with this 3D printer. A lot more than you can imagine at first if you're a woodworker thinking, I'll never use that thing. But you end up using it quite a bit. So I hope that, uh, you know, sharing that with you, I don't know, you know, if you, you like that or not, but if you do like it, please give a like down below. That really helps out the channel. And please do subscribe. Love to have you around for my next uh, project which will be coming out soon and uh, I really appreciate you hanging around this long to check out my new 3D printer. Thanks for watching and take care.